Ferromagnetic materials, such as iron, are composed of microscopic regions called magnetic domains. These magnetic domains act like tiny permanent magnets that can change their direction of magnetization. We now see the microscopic structure of a new and magnetized ferromagnetic material. Inside such materials there are many magnetic domains with their magnetization axes pointing in random direction. The resultant magnetic field of this slab of iron is zero. When we apply a small magnetic field to this slab, what happens is that the domains begin to move, and the domains which have a favorable direction of easy magnetization grow larger. This growth is reversible as long as the field stays very small, if we turn the field off, the magnetization will return to zero. Eventually, for high enough fields, when we have moved all the domain walls and magnetized each crystal in its best direction, there are still some domains which happen to have their easy directions of magnetization not in the direction of our external magnetic field. It takes a lot of extra field to turn those magnetic moments around. So the magnetization increases slowly, but smoothly, for high fields. Saturation occurs when practically all the domains are lined up, so further increase in magnetic field intensity cannot cause further alignment of the domains.